Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hope you are doing well uh, Here today we have to Five to Estimate To calculate So easy one and Less uh, A little bit difficult The second Just a little bit The first one We will call it denoted it by E and the second by G about the first one we have E equal 20 gram dx over square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x plus 2 and this is equal to integral dx the square root of x plus 1 plus the square root of x plus 2 times the square root of x plus 1 minus the square root of x plus 2 and here we have the conjugate so we times by the conjugate Then we obtain the thing we have here x plus 1 minus x minus plus 2. This means x minus x, 1 minus 2, minus 1. Uh, we have this divided by minus 1. Then we get then we get the square root of x plus 2 minus the square root of x plus 1. And this is equal to uh, 2 over 3 times uh, x plus 1 power 3 over 2 uh, plus 2 minus x plus 1 power 3 over 2 plus a constant. This for the first uh, integral which is a simple one just a, a remark if we take here a change of variable I think that it will be very hard now so this idea is better for the second one well G is a little bit long In general, we now dealing with this kind of integral. So, remark we are able to uh, answer this type of question. A, B, C, in R. And a is different of zero. If it is equal to zero, it is basic. If we have integral like this, then we search roots and we try to write this as the product of. Uh, two polynomial from this kind. If we can do this, we will be able to answer the question. Even if we are not able to do this, I don't know how we can uh, we can do. I don't know a general method. It depends on the cases. In our case, in this case, fortunately, we can write x power 4 plus x squared plus 1 as a product of two polynomials of degree uh, order 2. Here what we can <laughs> what we can remark 
we can remark that x power 4 plus x squared plus 1 this can be equal to x power 4 plus 2 x squared plus 1 so here we have 2 x squared minus x squared and this is equal to x squared plus 1 power 2 minus x squared which is also equal to x squared minus x uh, minus x plus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 <coughs> Since this is possible, we are lucky, we can uh, pretend that we are able to find the integral. x power 4 plus x squared plus 1. This is equal to <laughs> dx over x squared minus x plus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 and this can be write as integral of a x plus b over x squared plus x plus 1 plus c x plus d over x squared minus x plus 1 dx then here we have to uh, to uh, take the product a x plus b times x squared minus x plus 1 plus c x plus d times x squared plus x plus 1 we identify and we and identify with 1 so the uh, the power x power 3 will be the coefficient of x power 3 will be equal to 0 the coefficient of x square will be equal to 0 the coefficient of x will be equal to 0 and the coefficient of 0 1 x power 0 which is 1 will be equal to 1 then we can find a b c and d uh, to uh, to uh, finally uh, approach the uh, the last of the solution the last part <laughs> here we are once again lucky why because we have a so famous uh, formula which allows us to answer without without um, spending uh, a lot of time with this identification uh, what are the so famous uh, results the so famous results are as follow x power 3 plus 1 it admits minus 1 as a solution so this is equal to x plus 1 times times x square minus x plus 1 and x power 3 minus 1 this admits x equal 1 as a solution so x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1 here we have x power 3 minus x square plus 1 and x square minus x plus 1 we have x power 3 plus 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 1 since this is true so we can write these as at the formula 1 over 2 the integral of x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 and here we take the difference so x power 3 plus 1 
minus x power 3 minus 1. We have x power 3 minus x power 3. Uh, it disappear and 1 minus minus 1 we have 2 which will be uh, constant with, with 2 <coughs> what we can do uh, else this is equal to 1 half the integral of x power 3 plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 dx minus 1 half the integral x power 3 minus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 dx then we can simplify since we have these two uh, famous or algebraic equation therefore g is equal to one half the integral x power 3 plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 times then we get x plus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 dx minus 1 over 2 x power 3 minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times the remainder then we have x squared minus x plus 1 dx <laughs> We have the form, the first one can be written uh, 1 over 4, 1 over 4, first one, the integral 2x over x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1 over 2, the integral dx over x squared plus x plus 1 minus 1 over 4 the integral 2x uh, over x squared minus x plus 1 dx plus dx over over x square minus x plus one <laughs> one half <coughs> it's okay This is equal to 1 over 4, the integral, 2x plus the derivative of this polynomial is 2x plus 1. So we add 1 and we take off 1, x squared plus x plus 1, minus this one minus 1 over 4, the integral. 2x minus 1 plus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx plus 1 over 2 the integral dx over x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1 over 2 the integral dx over x squared minus x plus 1. which is equal to 1 over 4 to integral 2x plus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 dx minus 
1 over 4 the integral 1 over 4 the integral dx over x squared plus x plus 1 minus 1 over 4 the integral 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 minus 1 over 4 the integral dx dx over x square minus x plus 1 plus 1 half this one the integral dx over x square plus x plus 1 plus 1 half the integral dx over x square minus x plus 1 let me check if it is of use in the camera yes it is of use okay We arrive at the last part. Which is equal to 1 over 4 the integral ln. 1 over 4 ln absolute value of x square plus x plus 1. <coughs> So this is okay. Minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 ln absolute value of x square minus x plus 1. So this is okay. We have minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 x square plus x plus 1. And here we have 1 over 4 this one so we have plus 1 over 4 the integral dx over x squared plus x plus 1 then we let go this part in this part <laughs> and we have 1 half dx over x squared minus x plus 1 with minus 1 over 4 dx over x squared minus x plus 1. This means that plus, plus 1 over 4 integral dx over x squared minus x plus plus 1. This integral, this integral, k, okay, and this integral, uh, l. <laughs> k is equal to dx over, here we have x plus one half square plus plus 1 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 minus 1 over 4 this means a 3 over 4 which is equal to the integral dx over 1 over uh, we have 4 over 3 and here we have we have we have um, 2x plus 1 over the square root of 3 uh, over 2 times 2 so we have this plus 1 for k and for l for l we have 
dx over x minus 1 over 2 square plus 3 over 4 which is equal 4 over 3 the integral of dx over over 2x minus 1 over the square root of 3 square plus plus 1 <coughs> Let us let us take for the first one a new variable t is equal to 2x plus 1 over the square root of 3. This implies that the square root of 3 over 2 dt is equal to dx. And here we have the same result if we take here t equal to 2x minus 1 over the square root of 3. This implies that the square root of 3 over 2 dt is equal to dx. Uh, if we take off then the first one gives us uh, the first one then 4 over 3 the integral dx over 2x plus 1 over the square root of 3 square plus 1. This is equal to, to 2 uh, over the square root of 3. 2 over the square root of 3. We take that out integral dt over t squared plus 1 which is 2 over the square root of 3 arc arc tangent t plus a constant both of k and l gives the same thing this means that here we can just write <coughs> we can just write uh, t is equal to for k t is equal to 2x plus 1 over the square root of 3 and for l t is equal to 2x minus 1 over the square root of 3 so This is, is equal to 1 over 4 and then absolute value of x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 plus 1 over 4, 1 over 4, so 1 over 2 the square root of 3 arc arc tangent uh, the first one 2x plus 1 over the square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 the square root of 3 arc tangent 2x minus 1 over the square root of 3 plus or constant <coughs> this is the final uh, result I told you that we are at the last part here here we can we can uh, use we can, here we can use here we can use a, a formula that gives us arc tangent x plus arc tangent y equal and we have many cases one of the cases is uh, it's equal to arc tangent x plus y over 1 minus x y in this case in this case if the absolute if x y is less than 1 and we have others uh, since the integral is an undefined one so we cannot uh, judge if uh, we are supposed to use this formula or not anyway 
this can cons considered as a final uh, and good result thank you for watching hope uh, it is uh, useful for you see you next time